Yo, what's going on guys, and in today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about the new COD that has been announced, um, for this coming year, for, um, it's coming out for, like, the next gen, uh, when it, when it does come out. Um, it's gonna be called, they're, they're bringing back the Black Ops series again, it's gonna be the fifth installment, but it's not, like, you know, Black Ops, it's not Black Ops 5, they're not calling it that, they're calling it Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, I think this, I'm pretty sure it's the first Cold War game that COD's ever made. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but what I'm going to be talking about today in today's video is basically the future of COD in this, in this new installment. And basically, you know, what's, what's going to happen for Warzone. The Warzone's really popped off, you know. And honestly, it's like, it's, it's probably more popular than Fortnite right now. Um, I think I like Warzone better, I don't know, I mean, I've just always been, the COD is like, you know, Call of Duty's just always been my favorite, you know, gaming franchise, so obviously there's a little bit of bias in there, um, I, honestly, I don't really play Warzone, like, a lot, I, I, I mostly play multiplayer, um, all the time, um, so with that being said, um, like, what, what the future Warzone actually has installed is actually has to go along with the Cold War that happened, like, you know, the actual Cold War that actually happened. Um, so obviously, um, in multiplayer, they're gonna bring some, they're gonna bring some, like, you know, Cold War maps in there. Um, you know, maybe some in Russia, maybe some in America, you know, we don't know that. We don't really have all the details on multiplayer. Um. But, uh, it's not gonna be, like, regular Black Ops, where, like, you know, they have, like, futuristic guns and stuff. Cause usually, like, in Black Ops 3, they're, like, they just have, like, you know, futuristic guns that don't actually, you know, exist. So, um, in this one, we're not actually gonna do that, cause it cause the Cold War was, like, the 60s, it, it was, like, blasted from the 60s to the 80s. So, yeah, we're not gonna get futuristic guns, in, uh, then. Um, so yeah, it's kind of gonna, it's kind of gonna be like, kind of a Modern Warfare vibe to it. Modern Warfare 2 vibe to it, you know? Um, but, um, this is some really big news because, uh, they, 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 they're doing Cold War now, which is, um, which is good. Um, we don't have to stick with, cause like, it seems like every year now we've been adding like installments to games like Black Ops, you know, Modern Warfare, and now we're doing a Black Ops again, but it's not really like, you know, kind of Black Ops, honestly. I wish they just kind of took off the name Black Ops, because, like, it's not really going to be the same as Black Ops. Because Black Ops series has been known to, you know, add futuristic guns and, like, do stuff that's not really realistic. Obviously, the Cold War already happened in, like, real life, so. Um, yeah, I think they just call it, like, Call of Duty Cold War or something, like they did with Call of Duty World War II and, uh, World at War and stuff. Um, but basically what I'm about to tell you about Warzone, it has a bit of history to what actually happened. Um, so obviously there's going to be an in-game event. Uh, I think it's August 26th, I'm pretty sure. 26th, 27th, I'm not sure. Um, somewhere around there. And then, um, so then, uh, there, we all, we all know the secret bunker, right? That's in there. Sometimes people open it, sometimes. Most of the time it doesn't open. Um, but in real life... I, I don't I don't remember what the year was. I'm pretty sure it was in the 70s. Um, on August 26th or 7th, um, uh, Russia, because it was Cold War was Russia and uh, Russia and America on the verge of like starting a nuclear war. Um, and on August 26th or 27th, I can't remember. Um, they actually Russia found um, like they made like. Um, I th they they made like a um, they um they made like a what's it the a nuke that could like um you know go into kind of like space a little bit and like come down like like across like the whole like world so that that's like the date that like America was really like under pressure in real life because we like uh we were about to, like because they had a really good chance of, like you know hitting us with a nuke and we did too so on that date and that's why the secret bunker is there so. Honestly, I don't think anything's gonna change really in Warzone for um, the Black Ops installment. Sure, I mean there's gonna be like a nuke that goes off because of the bunkers. So the map's gonna probably look completely different, but like the aesthetics of it and like the map, or like I mean the map's gonna change, but like not the location of the map. You know, the gulag's probably not gonna change. So it's kind of like they're just adding like little little details, like you know probably a giant crater or like just. Or just like the whole like map is just kind of destroyed because of the nuke that went off. Um, 
so yeah, kind of like, kind of like that stuff's gonna happen. So, um, yeah. So that's that's. So yeah. So Warzone is basically safe. Warzone is not gonna end. It's just gonna be you know, a move over to another game. You know, have a different Call of Duty title. Um, and that was the point of this video, and just give you guys some like background. And um, I don't think we know when when it's gonna come out. But uh, if you go on Call of Duty's Instagram, um, they actually posted like a trailer of it. Um, so yeah, again, the theme of this one, like always, is they're gonna have a team two sides against each other. You know, this one's multiplayer and campaign. It's gonna be um, America versus Russia. You know, obviously Cold War, America, Russia. Um, um, I think in the campaign, because they should add a campaign. I'm pretty sure. Um, we're not too sure because the last Black Ops installment didn't actually have it. Um, so yeah. But if they have a campaign, it's probably going to be, like, um, tension between America and Russia. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.